I bought some of the coolest gaming tech ever made all under $30. So you can upgrade your gaming setup on a budget without breaking the bank. From crazy lights, gaming consoles, and gamer chopsticks. We've got so much stuff to unbox in this video, and I was really surprised by how many cool things you can buy for less than $30. And everything will be linked down below in the description if you want to check any of it out. Let's first start with this huge box. Now, I think there's multiple different things inside of here that are going to be amazing. Yes, it is. Oh, look at this. This is where it all is. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, they might have sent the wrong color. Oh, no way. So the first thing I purchased was a gaming keyboard bundle. Now, it wasn't a huge gaming keyboard. It was the little TKL ones that are quite small, but it came with a mouse and a mouse mount and all sorts of stuff. And it looked really cool in this blue color. But on the box here, it looks like they've sent the version in black, which I'm not complaining about. It could be fine. Yes, yes, it's blue. Come on. Honestly, the color of this blue looked insane on the website. Look at that. Look, how it just looks amazing. Is that... It, it feels all right. Does it sound okay? Sounds all right. It is mechanical. The box says it's mechanical. So we've got a little tea, uh, key changer here so we can change the, the keycaps out. Then we've got our braided mouse over here. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Mmm, that looks nice. That feels, that feels good in hand. Nice, decent weight to it. And we have an included mouse mat. Now, it's a pretty small mouse mat, not gonna lie. I won't be using that because we've actually got a way cooler upgrade. Interestingly, this keyboard bundle offers a lot for the price. The mouse looks very similar to my Logitech G Pro. The shape and size is almost identical. It also has multiple DPI adjustment modes and RGB lights that will change color to correspond with the speed that you choose. On the bottom, you can turn the RGB lights on and off whilst also cycling through a variety of different modes. The mouse wheel even lights up, which is a super cool feature. To keep the mouse lightweight, the inside is hollowed out and according to the box this makes it around 75 grams. The keyboard does have a nice feel when typing and is also complete with 20 different RGB modes. The mechanical switches also sound very satisfying to use. So also inside of this box I've got a gaming headset to go with our gaming keyboard. Now this is a Turtle Beach gaming headset L literally was around 30 30 pounds, something like that, maybe just a little bit over $30, you know, about 34 pounds. But it has this super cool camel on it, which would match the PS5 if you had those uh, plates for your PS5, it would sort of tie in with that nice. So it's just a little wired headset, nothing too fancy, but it is multi-platform. So it will work on the Xbox Series X, the PS systems, and also your Nintendo Switch. How do we get it out of the bag? That's not too bad. That's pretty comfortable. Sure, this isn't the most flashy headset you could buy, but I've definitely used worse in my years of gaming, and some of those cost way more than this. Comfort level is decent, especially if you have a smaller head. There's a thin layer of padding at the top that does easily compress, so long gaming sessions may require you to take a break. You do get plenty of adjustability for sizing, and located on the left ear cup is a volume dial control. I give the audio quality a 6 out of 10. It's not awful, but does lack bass presence and is overly harsh on the treble making it lack that depth. It's perfect for casual players more interested in talking and having a laugh with their friends, but it's not made for esports gamers. Also inside this box is this little handheld retro game machine that I found. This thing was only $15 and it has a bunch of 8-bit games that you can play on. So let's check it out and see what it's like. What is it? Uh, triple A's. It would be the only battery type I don't have. A few moments later. Three hours later. Approximately 10 hours later. This is a lot of fun. To also go with this super cool handheld device, I found myself a mini arcade machine. This thing was only $25 and apparently includes over 240 games. Now, I guess regardless of if you're actually going to play any of the games on this little arcade machine, it could be a very cool desk accessory for somebody to just pimp up their setup. Let's have a look at this. Come on. I'm actually quite impressed. This is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. <gasps> That's what she said. Look at that. Got your little joystick here. You've got your volume buttons, your start buttons, A, B. This could actually be pretty fun. Let's power this baby up. On. Oh, wow. Look at that. What games we got on here? Actually, anything official? Oh, here we go. This is like a Space Invaders ripoff. We know how to play this. Oh, wow. Wow. This joystick's super responsive. Look at that. 
thing. It's so easy to control. This is actually really fun. Yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Next, we've got some RGB with this awesome little mouse pad. Now, this isn't any old mouse pad. This thing has got RGB and also wireless charging in the mouse pad itself, which is going to be super convenient. So let's crank this baby open. Oh, wow. Wow. It looks decent. This looks good. This is a strong start. This impressed me a lot, and I'm going to be using it for my new live streaming desk setup that I'm currently building. Subscribe for that video because it's coming very soon. Not only does this mouse mat have RGB lighting effects, it also has amazing features such as wireless charging for your phone built into it. This is in the form of a 10 watt fast charger. I know that the iPhone is capable of 15 watts of fast charging, but it's not bad for being powered via the included braided USB cable straight from a USB hub connected to my PC. You can change the color and mode of the lights with this touch sensitive button and the brightness isn't too bad either. All of this costs $30 and the quality of the product is very nice. Wow, 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 is it very nice. But obviously our setup isn't complete. We've got our headset. That means we need an RGB headphone holder. Now I think inside of this box, I have got that exact product. It's a completely unbranded box. I've got no idea. Hopefully it's inside of here. Otherwise it's going to be a little bit anticlimactic. It was very quick and easy to build this headphone stand. And for $22, the end results are very impressive. There's loads of light modes that you can select with the touch sensitive button and it is really bright. However, my favorite feature has to be the included IO where you get extra USB ports and also a headphone jack, making this actually quite useful on your desk. Probably the funniest thing I bought were these gaming chopsticks. You can use these to keep your hands free of any crisp fingers when you're eating your snacks during your gaming sessions. This will hopefully keep your keyboard clean and also gaming controllers. For six dollars you can buy a pack of four and you place them between your fingers and you're good to go. Now if you're going to be eating at your desk with your chopsticks, you're going to need a keyboard hoover. Inside this pretty beaten up box there is a hoover that you can use on your desk. Look at this thing, it's a little tiny. But also included in this kit is this weird slime that you can rub over your keyboard to clean it. I don't think I'll be using this though. Look at it, it looks disgusting. Oh. I was excited to use this as my keyboards always get super dusty and they're difficult to clean because of the style of keycaps they have on these Logitech keyboards. Inside of the box, there are a bunch of attachments for the vacuum and also a charging cable. However, this is where the problems did start. For some reason, the vacuum just wouldn't charge at all. I left it charging for almost two days with this red light on and still it never worked. Unfortunately, this is a zero out of 10 and I just cannot recommend it. On the topic of keeping your desk clean, if you want somewhere to put your controller, this next accessory is insane. Inside here, I have got a Call of Duty Warzone controller holder for Ghost. Now this can double up for two different things. It can be a controller holder, but also a mobile phone holder. So once it's charged on your wireless desk mat, you could then throw it on here. How do we get this open? Here we go, we're making progress. How can this be so hard? I'm not saying it won't be hard. What's your thoughts on something like this? The detail's not too bad. You can obviously throw your control on it just like this, or alternatively, you could grab your iPhone or whatever you use, Android, and watch a YouTube video while on your desk or have it holding up like that so you see your text notifications. But this isn't the coolest one that you can actually buy. For the same price of $28, you can also buy this Master Chief statue that looks incredible if you have the limited edition Xbox controllers. You've got to admit, that is a pretty nice combo. If we didn't already have enough RGB, this next product is a light projector for your walls and ceilings, and the box says it's high quality, so I have some big expectations. First impressions aren't the best. It doesn't even come with a power supply. You just get this tiny cable that's a USB, but it doesn't even come with a wall outlet for powering this baby up. Hopefully things get better from here. It's much larger than I was expecting, and the build quality is also very good. Also included in the box is this remote control that you can use to change the light modes and also the brightness and speed of the projector. Genuinely, I'm so impressed with how these lights look. If we switch my key light out, you'll see how how it illuminates the entire wall, which looks absolutely insane, like we're out of space or something. Now with the controller, we can make it quicker, we can make it slower and adjust a few effects with the lights and final results are pretty cool. I can seriously see myself using this on my new live stream gaming setup that we're currently building within this room. Speaking of my new desk setup, I needed some storage. So I found this under the desk shelf for only $25 and it sticks underneath the desk with no tools required at all. And this is great for storing lightweight items to get them off your desk. You do have the option to permanently mount it with screws if you so desire, but I do like how easy it is to fit regardless of your skill level. It's a great way to keep things organized and clean up your desk. Now this next accessory is a little bit more on the practical side and only costs $15 and that's a gaming mug. But more specifically, it's a Super Mario mug that is designed to look just like a level from the Mario video games. But even if you're not a fan of Nintendo, then you could also get yourself this Xbox mug. Now my only complaint of these gaming mugs is for some bizarre reason, the handles are enormous on them, 
them like huge. Like how it makes it so hard to hold the cup. And it's like this on all of them, even the PlayStation ones. And I think you know what the next product is going to be. We've got the mugs, so now we need the drinks. This right here is a coffee machine that can do like anything you want. This thing was only 30 pounds. 30 pounds, you can throw in these different sachets. You can have hot chocolates, coffee, tea, whatever you want. And it's even made by Bosch, like a super cool brand. So let's take a look at what it's actually like. Oh, the power cord's stuck. Oh, it's falling apart, no! There we go. This is surprisingly very easy to use. You literally fill it up with water and then throw your capsule in, press the button and you've got a hot drink. It's that simple. Now let's do a taste test, see if this is any good. Wow, that's like, that's 10 out of 10, that's insane. Nice. Now after all of that excitement, we have got one final product. And it's this really cool Steve light that only costs $12. This tiny little thing is perfect for any desk setup and anybody who loves Minecraft. On the topic of Minecraft, if you want to see me build the ultimate Minecraft gaming room, you should check out this video next.